We all know moms are multitaskers, and a new survey finds that of the moms who are multitasking while filling up at gas stations, 85% of them are checking their phones and social media. But rather than checking social media, our next guest urges moms and all drivers to use that time to check your vehicle instead. So joining us now is Courtney Hansen. She's an expert in the auto industry and also the host of a new car show on the History Channel. So, all right, what are drivers doing at the gas station instead of filling up? Good morning. Well, a new poll by Toyo Tires tells us that 85% of multitasking moms are scrolling through their phones when at the gas pump. And I'm guilty of this too. It takes about five minutes to fill up my car. And what I would love is for those moms to instead be doing basic safety and maintenance checks on their vehicles. Like what? Well, I have some great tips, and let's start with the quickest and easiest ones. I'm working with Toyo Tires today, so let's start there. Your tires are the only part of your vehicle that touches the road. Think about that. So you want to keep the tread in great condition. Um, a simple tread test can be done by taking a penny and placing it head down in the tread. If you can see all of Lincoln's head, then your tires are bald, and it's time to replace them. The second component of making sure your tires are in good condition is doing a uh, tire pressure check. So you take your gauge and you put it against the valve stem like this and you'll get a reading if the reading is low. And by the way, you find the PSI number inside the driver's door placard or in your owner's manual. So if the PSI number is low, you need to add air. And it's very important that you add air when the tires are cold, which would be first thing in the morning or before you've driven a mile. If you have un uh, worn out or underinflated tires, it's a safety hazard. So you want to be sure that you're doing these checks once a month or before long road trips. Now, another cool tip, there's nothing worse than driving in bad conditions and, and having wiper blades that are not doing their job. So you just take a uh, towel and you run it along the blade like this. And if you haven't done this before, you will be amazed at the dirt build up there. So you want to keep your blades in good condition too. All right, yeah, you were talking about cleanliness um, being a hazard. What, what, yes. Is that just with the window? Cleanliness, if you're like me, then you have all these empty juice boxes and cookie crumbs in the car, and that's okay. But what's really important is that you keep your headlights in good condition because it will give you better visibility when driving, and you'll be more easily seen in the dark. So just do a walk around your car, and if your headlamps are looking foggy and yellowish, you want to make sure you clean them, and you can do that inexpensively and easily with a headlight restoration kit that costs about $15. All right, what about one thing drivers should all have in their car? Well, I think everybody should have an emergency kit with a flashlight, flares, uh, first aid kit, and, of course, a tire pressure gauge. <laughs> Very cool. All right, where can, our, where can our viewers go for more information, Courtney? For more info and tips, you can go to toyotires.com. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Thank you for having me on. Well, special thanks to Toyo Tires for sponsoring this segment.